Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lashada Saka, if you don't know. Make sure to like this video, make sure to subscribe. We are on the road to 500 subscribers. Today, we are talking all about why I decided to move out of my house and into my own space. Now, I have a habit of deleting my videos, so I don't know like if you guys have like seen my journey and seen my growth and all that I've been through and stuff, but I promise to show more of my journey as I feel like that's a part of my purpose for my life. If my hands are red, just mind your business. I just finished decorating some Valentine's Day cupcakes and it decided to, you know, red up my hands. But anyway, I really want to talk about why I decided to move. Um, I'm going to try to see if I can include some moving tips in this video as well. But yeah, it's really just all about why I decided to move out. There are quite a few reasons for why I decided to move out. The first being, this is something I felt in my spirit, I would say probably about a year and a half ago. And I did try to move out about a year and a half ago, but it didn't work. And I see now that it wasn't the right time. Um, so if there's one lesson I've learned through this is everything happens in its perfect time. Like there is a time for everything. There are seasons for everything and God makes everything happen in its perfect time. My journey to moving out started, I would say around like a year, a year and a half ago, but it didn't quite work out then. Like it was almost working, but it didn't quite work out. And now I see that it just wasn't the right time. And if there's something moving out has taught me is that there's a perfect time for any anything and everything. Like God makes things happen in its perfect time and oftentimes we don't understand that why things don't work out but it's because god you know he sees ahead and i'm a christian guys if you don't already know um and i see now that god strategically caused this whole moving out to happen when it did um i think one day i'll go into the whole story of me moving out because my god it was even a battle and a fight and a headache to even get to this place um but I see why he did it at this time. I feel like I'm in a much better place to have moved out. I feel like if I moved out maybe a year and a half ago, I would have been able to cope. I would have probably ruined it and not, you know, steward, steward did, if that's even a word, the move, the whole moving out procedure and like what it is to move out. Um, so I feel like everything does happen in its time. And then things kind of got a bit rocky at home. Like I know many of you probably beef your parents. I beef my mum on a daily. It just, it's, it's just what it is, do you know what I mean? <laughs> but it got really, really bad. And um, one day I even ended, I just left. I reached breaking point and I just left. Um, I, was, I wouldn't say it was the best decision to do, but it happened. And thank God he placed me around some Sorry if my lighting's acting up, the phone I'm recording in on is actually broken, but in the name of Jesus, it will behave for this video. At the time when I decided to, you know, sporadically just move out because I had enough, um, this was move out. I didn't even have anywhere to go. I was staying in a hotel. Um, God, at the same time, placed me under two amazing people who were like my second parents. And I remember having a conversation with, I call him Pops, he's like my second dad. At the time called and he's asking me something and he was like what do you want to be what do you want to do i didn't really know what i wanted to do but i knew i had goals and visions and i expressed them to him and he was like how do you expect to do that from your mother's house and i was just like i was like first of all sir that was a bit rude <laughs> but if there's one thing i really appreciate about him and his wife is they always challenge me always challenge me to do better be better think greater and most importantly, partner with what God requires, even if it means that it's gonna be scary and even if it means I may be struggling or it's gonna be hard just to do what God says to do. So he was, I would say the catalyst in my moving out process. He's the one that kind of caused it to speed up and where I was like, yeah, I've got to move out. I started to watch um, a series by Michael Todd, um, Transformational Church, and he was talking about, um, bamboos and how like bamboos grow like really i don't know how this is going to link in but i just remember this being like the day that i was listening to this sermon and i was like okay let me just do this um and yeah bamboos basically they take really long to grow but when they hit i think it's about like three meters they like shoot in like no matter of a time and i think he's talking about having the faith that cool your journey's been kind of slow it's been moving a bit da -da 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 -da. but god can switch it in a moment god can elevate in a moment like you're like no in a moment and for me my brain linked that with moving out because when i decided to go to a hotel i also stopped my business so i didn't really have any income coming in and i spent all my savings on staying in the hotel so i was in a very low financial place i was in a very low place like in the shada i'm much better now thank god um 
and so it was just like god like how can i move out like you need money to move out guys when i say money i mean money my god i had to pay deposit i had to pay like two deposits I had to buy a sofa because like why would i own a sofa <laughs> do you know what i mean and just like things like washing up liquid weekly grocery shopping like toilet paper kitchen roll like <laughs> you have to have money and i was just like god i'm in no place to move out um and i don't think i told you this point there was one moment i think i was in prayer i was even in church or just praying at home and god said literally two words to me he said get out and i knew exactly what that meant it meant get out of my mom's home i don't say this to say my mom is terrible that is an amazing woman and my friend reminded me how of how valuable she is that she she's the reason why i can run in this life yes she may have not been able to provide everything for me and i've actually had to work quite hard in my life but she's still enabled me to run in this life not walk but run strive for the things i want to she's never shut down my ideas and has always supported me so um even as i'm expressing this guys this is i'm not moving out because my mom is horrible or abusive i'm moving out because one god told me to and two it's necessary for everything that i'm getting into this year it's necessary for the women that you see here today moving out is the perfect condition to nurture and grow the women that i am going to become this year i don't know what she looks like but i know she's going to be pretty amazing um and so this is the necessary condition the necessary step that was required so even after hearing it from um my spiritual father and my spiritual mom i was still a bit scared but the thing is i actually was looking guys that's the funny thing like I was looking, I was going to viewings, and when I say every single viewing was not working out, every single one, like I would get this close and then the deal would shut off, I'd be like cool yeah I'm ready to make a deposit, can I have this property and none of them pulled through. I was thinking God like you asked me to move out, why is it not working? I know many of us have times where it's like God I'm trying to do something that you asked me to do and I'm facing opposition like what? Guys I faced opposition like, like I've never faced it before in my life oh my gosh but i i held on to i held on to the word that god gave me and i held on to his name that he gave me in a place of prayer which was elroy which is hebrew for the god who sees me and he did indeed i even decided to <laughs> i'm that babe i decided to um tattoo it on me and uh, you probably can't see it but it says elroy just because he saw me he saw a need he saw the nashada that i don't know yet and he created the perfect like this is a perfect place for that woman that he sees to be this year next year the year after that this is the starting point from her this is the nurturing ground about six months ago i saw the place i'm currently in online and i looked at it, I was like god I, like my heart was so set on this place but i just didn't think i could get it but i said god if this place is for me keep it and i kind of left it at that and when all my options kind of fell through i came back to this place and i was just like yeah i don't even know if i'm gonna get this place but i'm gonna try and when i say i fought i fought for this place for about two weeks even on the day that i was meant to move in they weren't trying to give it to me and i said nah i said <laughs> i said no i said god i'm moving in today i don't know i don't care what it takes i am moving in today and he did it he was faithful to the very end and so if any of you guys are holding on for god to do something that if there's one thing that god is is faithful um and i know it's easy for me to say this um because i've got the place but trust me it was hard <laughs> like i didn't think i was gonna get this place i didn't even know if i was gonna get it i put a deposit down not even knowing if i was gonna get the place but i what i held on to was one the word he gave me which was get out two what my spiritual parents were saying that they were also confirming it so i knew that it was from god um, the last one being the name he gave me that he sees me he sees my needs he sees he, he sees me he's gonna provide so i was holding on to that my friends were helping me i remained just steadfast in this, this decision because obviously during this process i literally told about three of my friends um, so a big shout out to Harriet, Tavisa and Britannia because they they were with me, encouraging me, um, especially Harriet, that's my best friend, man. that's my sister, that's my rock. She, every time I was like, yeah, if, and she always used to stop me, she's like, no, when God gives you this place, like, she always stopped me and said, no, you're going to say this place is yours. And um, I took a leap of crazy faith. Um, I started to buy things for this property before I got it. Um, sorry this is it's so emotional like ah, ooh. 
um it was a journey like this is so it was it was a journey three months before i was moving in sorry guys i'm actually kind of tearing up but i'm trying to hold it back about three months before i actually got the place three four months i literally when i say started to buy things i started to buy bins um i bought a doormat that i'm gonna sh try to show you guys because i bought it and i said this i'm buying this for my <laughs> for my flat <laughs> i'm buying it for my flat I bought cutlery i bought plates i bought glasses i bought rugs i bought i basically said a bin i just bought everything as if i was moving in and this was when i had nothing confirmed like i had nothing was confirmed um but i did it because i trusted that god was gonna see me through to the place that i am now i didn't know how he was gonna do it i didn't know when but i knew that he was um and i did it for two reasons because moving isn't moving in is expensive so if you're planning to move i would suggest getting little things as you go so when you move in it's not like i have to get absolutely everything because a sofa alone <laughs> let's not talk about it because they're expensive my god but you know what i love this so far and i did that i did that as i said in my last vlog but yeah and just because it was my act of crazy faith that you know i'm gonna get this place i'm going to um so yeah that was kind of the journey um of like coming up to getting this place it started off with god planting a seed in my mind that i do want this for you when he planted the seed i don't think it was a time but it was him letting me know this is what I, I do want this for you then it was bringing me under some great leadership and mentorship um and they confirmed that this is also a god wants for me and then it was god replanting it in my heart <laughs> and having me partner with him to get it and then it was me actively going out because a lot of times we think like i'm a believer that god just like let things fall in your lap i believe you've got to work for the things that you want work for the things that even god's laid on your heart so then that was me working for us going out i went on gumtree i went on real estate like um estate agent like i did anything and everything to try find a place i went to view spoke to people like that was my work and then i found my beautiful home like it's this is my home now it's been like over a year it's been like almost a year and a half now but he did it and he did it in the perfect time um now onto why i can't explain it fully even people ask me why i just know that it's what i needed to do i am i'm sure we've all at times felt like this was just something that i needed to do like i need to do some things in life you just know that this is what you need to do and it's what i needed to do i can kind of sense and have a part of a vision of where god needs to take me and i know i can only get there by moving out I know, I know, I know. I just, it's really hard to describe because a lot of it is to just, it's a knowing, it's a feeling. It's a, the relationship between myself and God, like a plant, it needs a certain condition. A polar bear needs a certain condition to grow. A baby can only grow in a womb. So it was the same for myself. Nashada could only grow by getting it into her own space. <laughs> like I can only reach that woman in the perfect time by being in my own space that's the best way i can describe it so i did it for the sake of future nashada i did it for the sake of my future and once you realize that your future is not just about you it's attached to children my grandchildren it's attached to people across the world and in london that i don't even know my life is bigger than me so it was absolutely necessary to i say fulfill my purpose my reason being here on earth um so I'd say my why for moving out is so beyond me that I can't explain it in all its details because I don't even know that yet because I'm still journeying through my purpose. I'm still journeying through my life. All I can say is it's necessary. Many people don't understand it. Many people even say I'm too young. Um, I probably won't be able to handle this. I can't move out. Da -da 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 -da. If there's one thing I know is if God said it, he's faithful to see me through it, to hold me through it, to give me the grace and the capacity. And that's just point blank period i'm a strong woman like if you know me i've been through i wouldn't even say okay yeah, i've been through a lot whatever but i would say the magnitude of what i've been through have caused me to be in the much independent before my time so i see now god why god took me through all of that and allowed me to go through many things that a child should have to go through because i wouldn't be able to <laughs> move out still being a child i need to even steward this house right steward everything about this right because this is favor here this is grace i know if there's people watching this and you've tried to move out you know it's not easy it's difficult i would say that's a bit of why i moved out and the journey um and i'm excited to take you guys on the journey 
because I think it's going to be a beautiful one and I think it's, I know, sorry, I know it's going to be a beautiful one and I know it, it's going to inspire many, I know it's going to push many into areas that they thought they were never meant to be in. Ooh, yeah, but yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I just wanted to explain this a bit more and just start to begin to share it's not easy for me to share because i have this weird complex that i just don't like sharing things in my life and good things that happen to me and i think it's because i came so accustomed to pain that i fear that sharing something good is gonna invite pain to come in and trauma and bad things but that's not my portion and i'm stepping out of that and my life is about winning i'm not in a winning season my life is a win i win all throughout my life I'm gonna dedicate this video to my um spiritual parents to two mentors and two people who have just changed my life loved me like i never thought i could be loved um and they know who they are and i just want to tell you guys that i love you so much and i'm really grateful for you i don't think i would be the nashad i am today if not for the two of you um and I really pray that one day I can repay you back for everything that you've done for me. I'm getting emotional. <laughs> so I'm going, I'm going to cut the cameras, cut the camera. I don't want these videos to be put out just for entertainment purposes, but I want them to do something. If you have any questions, any video suggestions that you may have, let me know because I know, I know there's probably much more that you want to see in terms of like my moving out. I think it would be cute to do like a little haul of like stuff as I start to get like my house together because there's still boxes in my house don't get twisted <laughs> there's still boxes this is just the area that looks cute let me see if I can show you a bit like this is just my couch and my um kitchen is over there and thanks for watching the video guys don't forget to like this and subscribe and join the family we've got a lot of great things coming this year because a lot of great things are coming of my life and this channel is just all about documenting my journey that's it and teach here you know just do you know what i mean like i hope you enjoyed this video as i think i've said a thousand times and i'll see you in my next video bye